It's still the breakfast on PLOS TV Africa. Many thanks for being with us this morning. Uh, we, we head straight to our second conversation. Now, uh, we'll be looking at the issue of ASU and the issue of the drain brain. The academic staff of universities have raised the alarm over the exodus of lecturers from the nation's universities for greener pastures abroad. The union attributed the development to the federal government's poor treatment of its members, which is said had forced many to venture into uh, you know, other sources of livelihood. Now, and according to the president of the association, Professor Emmanuel Osodoke, many lecturers have taken to farming and other economic activities, while a large number have left the country. Uh, the chairman of uh, ASU, University of Lagos branch, Dr. Dilia Shiru, revealed that more than 70% of the brightest brains in the academia had left the country, adding that the government had been so disrespectful and insensitive to scholars. The chairperson of ASU University of Uyo chapter, Dr. Happiness Udwak, confirmed that some lecturers had left the system. Uh, meanwhile, you have some lecturers at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, the Federal University of Agriculture, Abiokuta, and the OOU, Ogun State, had similar lecturers resigning and relocating abroad. Now, the story or the conversation is almost endless. But this morning, we just look at all of these issues now. We thought that this was just limited to, you know, the medical sector, you know, the medical doctors and the brain drain. But we might just be experiencing you know, that drift and movement in the academic sector as well, following the long strike. Uh, we have a guest joining us this morning, Professor Abiola Awosike. Uh, she's an educationalist. Professor Abiola Awoshika, an educationalist here in Lagos, joining us. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we also have Professor Sani Fagi joining the conversation as well. Uh, good morning. All right, so I start off with Professor Abiola. What are your thoughts now? Uh, the brain drain of our lecturers. Uh, well, we can't tell anyone uh, not to go anywhere. Uh, if they want to leave, there's nothing you can do to stop them. Uh, there's a lot that is wrong with our educational system especially the tertiary education. We do not have enough universities. We put jam in place to select the best for the existing universities. Right now we have 2 million Nigerians in our universities, not up to 1%, maybe just 1% of our population. We want economic development if we want economic development, we need at least 10% of our young people in the educational pipeline so that they will be out there at the right time to take this country to the next level. And we're not even paying attention to that. We cannot afford the system that we are running. For every student that gets admission into our universities, they are being subsidized by those students who could not gain admission. So we're not even close to, I mean, the conversation ASU is having with the government is not the conversation they should be having. And so we're not gonna keep our brains at this stage. And even if we give them the money that they want now, we would still have the same problem. We had ASU strike uh, 35 years ago, ASU strike 20 years ago, ASU strike 10 years ago, ASU, stri ASU strike now. How are we resolving our problems? I think we're probably just taking the baby steps by saying, let's go to court. Because there is no way that we can resolve this. ASU is not going to budge. The federal government is saying, this is how much money I have. ASU is saying, this is not enough. So the only thing we can do is to let the courts decide. In other parts of the world, they don't go on strike like this, and yet they have their, their issues resolved. So we're going to, uh, we're going to be 
uh, up a creek without a paddle with all of these uh, brains leaving uh, Nigeria. And yet, uh, we're, we're not going to have our problem solved at all. All right. Uh, thank you, Professor uh, Abiola Oshika. Uh, let's go to Professor um, uh, Fage. Uh, Professor Fage, do, do you think, and uh, uh, it's quite interesting, we have two professors on the program this morning. I think uh, uh, we, we will we'll draw from a fountain of knowledge. But do you think, Professor Fage, that um, the, uh, the courts are, are the way to go about this? Um, no, I, I don't think that is the right way. Um, brain drain uh, is a reality, and uh, it seems that uh, those who are concerned with it are not much interested in resolving the problem. Okay, so that is why uh, we are where we are now, and we fail to uh, realize or to see the implications and the consequences of uh, uh, this drain. Because as the saying goes, there is no nation that develops above its level of education. Here in Nigeria, uh, we seem to take uh, education generally, and especially the tertiary uh, education uh, very, very lightly. We don't care, the, the people in power don't seem to care uh, about it. So that is why we are having uh, this problem. So going to court, uh, I don't think it will uh, resolve the problem. Uh, on the contrary, it will seem to compound and complicate the, the whole uh, process. And if care is not taken, uh, perhaps it may, it may even lead to the embarrassment of, uh, uh, of the government uh, for taking uh, the, the case there, because they are fully aware of the fact that uh, this uh, strike is unnecessary uh, and it is uncalled for and it is something that could have been, uh, you know, ended within weeks but uh, for some reasons those in power decided to uh, drag it unnecessarily and uh, they seem not to care much about the implications of, of the process. So I, I, I don't think um, what uh, we are seeing now and uh, the way we are attempting uh, to address it will uh, resolve the problem. All right, then. Uh, let's have Professor Awoshika uh, coming down. Uh, do you think that the concerns of ASU are really valid? I mean, we're looking at this concerns of race over time, revitalization, uh, salary increase and what have you. Do you think that the concerns are valid? Uh, well, whether we say it's valid or not, that's, those are their concerns. Now, where in the world did you go to school for 25000 a year? Where in the world? Do you get, uh, I mean, uh, apart from countries with, you know, smaller population and what, what where in the world do you go to school for 25,000 a year? Uh, or, and when they say they want to increase it to, you know, 75 or 100,000, the students go on strike. The, 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 the lecturers support them. We do not have a system that works until we charge the right price for for higher education. Tertiary education, I, I beg to, to say, and I, and, and I apologize uh, because uh, uh, I was, I was on, on TV at some point and I commented on a strike that was on and I, I supported the government not paying them for what they did not do. And someone took me up when I got to a conference and really lambasted me, and that's fine. But at the cost of uh, being uh, 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 of, of someone being offended, uh, we are not paying. Uh, 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 tertiary education is not for everybody. Yes, we owe our children education. By the time they they finish in, in primary, 
they can speak English properly, they can do maths, they can, so by the time they finish secondary school, they're set for life. Now, what we want to do with tertiary is to find those who want to go that route and encourage them to go that route. Those who want to go to, uh, uh, go for, um, uh, um, uh, not so uh, technical, I mean, those who want to go to the technical route, we, t we help them to go to the technical route. At the end, you know, we have a, a full, a robust uh, 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 citizenry. Okay. But now everybody wants to go to university. Oh, uh, uh, prof, prof uh, because of time, um, uh, yes. you know, I'll go over to Professor Sage to just tell us what he thinks about what you've said uh, in, in, a, in a few seconds. Prof, so we don't have too much time. Um, but ca can't Nigeria, some have argued that Nigeria can afford, uh, as an oil producing country, to subsidize education for its citizens along the lines of what countries like Germany, Brazil, Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Greece, Austria, Czech Republic, Norway, and France are doing for the tertiary students? Professor Fagi, very shortly, please. Yeah, I, I think we, we have it. And uh, the way we are making it is too elitist. We think just because we have made it, then other Nigerians should not uh, uh, make it. I'm not saying everybody must get tertiary education, but the fact is that uh, even our own constitutions, uh, you go back and see when you go to the uh, fundamental principle of the state, education is there, it, it has been made clear that uh, from primary up to uh, tertiary and uh, even adult education is supposed to be free. So if those people who are advocating that Nigerians should not have it, they should go and change the constitution. It is not also that uh, makes it uh, that way. Professor it is Sadi the constitution Fahey. that provides a, a right of Nigerian. And so we, we, we shouldn't sit down and say that Nigerians should not have it just because we have it. Thank you, Professor Sani. We have to go now uh, for the want of time. We appreciate your insight. Thank you so much, Professor Abiola Awoshike. Uh, thank you so much as well for being part of the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's been quite interesting, an episode of um, uh, the breakfast with Professor Abiola Awoshika and, of course, uh, uh, Professor Sani Fagi, uh, when last year we have two professors on the program. Please follow us online, uh, Plus TV Africa on all platforms, and of course, YouTube, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Mercy Boko. Many thanks for watching.